Geodweep, hello, my name is Kevin. I am the Dapper Man. That is D-A-P-P-E-R-M-A-N. For some reason, someone told me that when you hit the subtitle, the captioning, it spells Diaper Man, which I don't understand why it says that, but that's me, Dapper Man. And if you want to, if you wish to, and if you could, I would grandly appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button, which is right there. And there's a like button right there. And there's a comment section that's right down there. You might have to click to comment, and you could type those in. And leave me a comment. I greatly appreciate it. And subscribe. I will be ever so thankful. You don't know how much thankful I am when you do that, because it helps encourage me to make more videos. And a bonus. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe to YouTube. So you have an Android phone, you have a Google account, and that's what it takes, a Google Gmail account to subscribe to someone. A friend of mine just recently told me, he's like, I didn't know it didn't cost anything. He's like, you're right, it doesn't cost anything. It only costs you a Google account, unless you have an Apple account, iPhone, and then that's between you and God. But anyhow, that's it. So. Hopefully you enjoyed this review, and I will see you around to the next video. Thank you for clicking. Now, I actually thought about doing this review in black and white, but I figured, nah, I'd just rather you enjoy the colors you see and my vest that actually fits me again. New vest. Yeah, I'm happy. Well, what happens when you get a movie like Sin City, The Matrix, and Blade Runner mixed into a movie? You get this movie, that, which is made by French director Christian Volkman, for this film made in 2006 called Renaissance. Now, in his 21 year time span, or 22, yeah, 22 now, he's only made two films. One he made in 2006, and one he just made last year, I believe, or 2018, or 19. It's called Room. And he's only made two films. So usually when a director makes just two films in such a lengthy time frame, that could be either a good sign or a bad sign, or he's just around to fund his own movies, maybe? I don't know. He didn't fund this his entirety of this movie. I don't know why I just split it up like that. It's one word. Entirety. Entirety. Yeah. So instead of making this black and white, I'll just show you the black and white clips. Because this movie is basically black and white, except for just two color segments, which is barely even three seconds. I still don't understand why it was colored. So we begin with the story of a young scientist named Leona. Leona works for a beauty company called Avalon. Avalon is shown throughout this entire movie from the very beginning to the very end that it is an industry that's promoting eternal youth and beauty. And this is done in Paris of year 2054, so we're not that far off. 2020, 2054, we only got 34 more years. and we could have eternal life and beauty according to this movie however someone abducts leona and nobody can find leona her sister is looking for her and so Karis is now being on the case he is looking for her and he is kind of a relentless cop he takes no prisoners and he will do anything it takes no matter what the cost no matter what the damage to get leona to get anyone to get someone there are others searching for Leona, and the secrets become uncovering in the movie as he begins investigating more and more, going deeper into what really is Avalon playing at, and what exactly did Leona discover or uncovered? Why would they steal her? Or who steals her? Or is she dead? So one of the first things you would notice is this film is done in black and white, as I said earlier, and it is an animation rendering. So it's solid black and white. There's barely any gray. If there's a gray, it's because of a window mirror or somebody wearing glasses. But it's it, it's very limited. So there's not really a strong range of gray. So there's like black, white, gray. And it's pretty cool. There's certain things I didn't think was so cool for. Like the child. You couldn't tell if it was a child or a miniature man. And I was like, oh, I thought that was actually a short man but that's actually a kid because you hear the voice coming I was like oh <laughs> okay that was a little creepy it is what really creates this film noir style and I love a film noir movie especially with something with a mystery and this has a little bit of a mystery but let me go a little bit more let me get to my next thing before I go more into the mystery the second thing I liked about this movie it is the music the score is absolutely amazing brilliant and there was two of the scores I thought it just blew me away I was like wow that 
is amazing piece of music and it's not even well known which is a sad part because I can listen to this music on my background I can listen to this while I'm studying anything and I actually just recorded the music and just put it onto a, an mp3 file for my phone so sue me and the third thing I liked about this movie, and that is the voicing. Voicing was actually done incredibly well, especially when it's a French film and it's done to an English accent. So whenever you hear, oh, American, English, Irish, English, whatever, you know what I'm talking about. When it's translated into English, and usually whenever you have a film that's a foreign film and they're putting into a tongue that we understand, it doesn't translate very well and it doesn't go along with the lips. There are certain moments you can notice it, but it's barely there. It's done very well. The main voice is the, provided by Daniel Craig, which is, he does a very good job. And usually whenever a film does this, an animation film, the only films I could ever think that does a good job like this is Studio Ghibli. And this is not a Studio Ghibli film, obviously. And it's done very well for this voicing. So I enjoy that. Now the thing I would say about this film that it could be very slow to many people. Like, it can be tedious, and there are certain points where it felt a little bit tedious for me, like, is it going anywhere? Now, this movie is not that long. It's only maybe a 95 minutes, 100 minutes. I can't remember. I didn't wrote my notes. And I don't have the Blu-ray. I had the DVD, and I threw away the case for some odd reason when I moved from place to place and got so much to having DVD cases, so I just have the DVD, and I don't have it in my hand. I don't know. I just keep showing it like I have it there. I don't. It's put away. I don't know why, I'm just off. But as I was saying, this story can be very tedious and it could be a huge pill to swallow just trying to really grasp and understand exactly where they're going because it does take its time and there are certain points in the movie where it seems like it drifts off. Like there's this one character named Farfello and you're wondering, okay, what is this guy's story and briefly talk about their history. You talk about Farfello like one more time in the movie and then it's no more. And so you're just kind of wondering like, okay, what was the point of that person? And then at the same time you get with one other person introduced into the movie and he tells a brief story and no more. So there is that in the movie. I believe the main purpose of this movie was to show off their skills and their animation and made for comic book lovers. And if you're a comic book fan, if you love graphic novels, then I believe you would strongly appreciate this movie because it's entertaining. And when there's action going, there's action going. And it's pretty cool. And then there's certain action scenes you look at and it's like, wait, huh? What? That makes no sense. But it's a future world. That's trying to be realistic, so you just like, I don't know. Now this movie, it is rated R, and it could be pretty strong R, more of the violence and the certain materials is put into it, so if you want to know why it's rated R, here is the reason why. It's not a bad movie, and it's not really a great movie. It's, I would say, a bit more than okay. It's something that I wouldn't mind re-watching just to see the animation and that score. I'm being honest, when I say I love this music of the score, it is just big and loud and this orchestra just swells up and I love it. I wouldn't mind them making one more movie in this animation style. Unfortunately, it didn't make a profit. It actually it actually made under, so it didn't really reach that level. So I can see why they'll never remake that. It's still an interesting concept for film. And that is my review. Let me know in the comments below if you have seen the movie, if you have not seen the movie, and what are your thoughts. I'm interested. I'll be more than willing to answer it if I'm not away, but I will answer as soon as possible. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and share with your friends and everybody else, community, whatever. And that's it. So until then, have a lovely day, and I will see you around. Cheers.